So, my opponent mentioned that 18 year old is an adult age, but in reality, in America, there is no definite age of adulthood. You can get a hunting license at 12, you're, you're legally allowed to drive at 16, you can buy tobacco, you can have sex at 18, but at 21 you're allowed to drink. There is no definite age of adulthood here in America. My opponent also proposed that advertisements are harmful to children, and this is why they want to drink. And, by her very definition, if these kids already want to drink, why don't we just let them? We should lower the argument, we should lower the drinking age already. But that's not in, that doesn't entirely mean that it's gonna work. In New Zealand, an advertisement company raised an advertisement company for alcohol raised their advertisements all over the, the New Zealand. And this led to hundreds of 18-year-olds drinking, a lot. And because of that, there was more, a lot more accidents in New Zealand. If we do allow 18-year-olds to drink, with all these advertisements aimed at them, it will negatively hurt us. Another point that she brought up was that it's not working at all. But in reality, it is working. It has saved hundreds and thousands of lives. My opponent tried to diminish what the drinking age has. That it has only saved a few lives, and that it hasn't saved any. That teens are already drinking, and that there is no point. That we should just lower this already. Because all these kids are already drinking. But, in 1970 was when we lowered our drinking age to 18. A number of states lowered their age from 21 to 18. And they saw an increase in alcohol consumption by youth. But when it was raised back to 21 in 1984, we saw lower consumption of alcohol, and we've kept those low rates since, and they have been declining. Research also shows that if you start drinking alcohol before 14, which they can now because of 18 year olds, um, has a higher chance of making them <coughs> get into alcohol, and getting into accidents, getting into fights. So it's very critical that we delay the onset of drinking. Kids still experiment, but the age of 21 does delay the onset of drinking somewhat. Another point that she brought up was that some liquor stores don't even check if you're 21. While that may be true, when you start drinking, you have to look 21. A 16-year-old or a 14-year-old can't look 21, but they can look 18. Meaning if we do lower the age to 18, we are giving more access to these kids. Each year, approximately 5,000 young people under the age of 21 die as a result of underage drinking. So, if you lower this age to 18 already, how much more would this number increase? How dramatic will this number spike up because we lowered it to 18? Because we made it more accessible for these kids? Now, another point that she brought up was that because the United States has a uniform law of 21 year olds to buy and drink alcohol, that all these 18 year olds are experimenting. But in fact, it's not true. It's not a definite law that each state has to have it at 21, but rather, each state can vary. It can be 18, it can be 16. But what the United States does have in place is the Uniform Act, which means if each state doesn't lower it to 18, I mean, doesn't keep it at 21, then the states will be will lose funding for highway. So in reality, these states can choose to lower it if they choose to. Now, what I'm trying to say here is that if we do lower this to 18 year olds, we are letting 16, 14, 12 year olds have a greater chance of getting this alcohol. Think about how many seniors are in high school that are 18. How many 18 year olds are walking around in the streets right now? If we do lower the age to 18, how, how much of risk are we putting our youth right now? 14, 15, 60 year olds are in high school. All the seniors will hold parties and all the alcohol will be available. We're putting our youth at risk if we lower it to 18. And she stated that it's not working already. Why don't we just lower it? 
again, like I said, if we make it more accessible to these kids, how much more damage can these kids do to themselves and to others? How many more deaths will happen in the United States? <coughs> Thank you.